Department. On to Russia now. Moscow has reported a record surge in the number of COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. The Russian capital has recorded over 9,000 new COVID-19 infections along with 78 people losing their lives. The increasing number of cases in the capital attributed to more aggressive coronavirus variants that are spreading rapidly across the country. In fact, the infection toll has soared from 3,000 to 9,000 only in a matter of a few days. While the mayor has ordered mandatory vaccination for all Moscow residents, the vaccination drive has been extremely sluggish. Over 60% of all service industry workers in Moscow have been ordered to be fully vaccinated by the 15th of August. This includes taxi drivers, staff at cultural venues and restaurant workers. The situation in Moscow with the spread of COVID-19 disease is rapidly deteriorating. And the dynamics are quite unexpected since more than 60% of Muscovites have either been ill or vaccinated. And this is a large population stratum and a large population immunity. Of course, we expected not an increase, but a decrease in the incidence. But as you have correctly said, Mikhail Vladimirovich, we are most likely facing new strains, more aggressive and rapidly spreading. The number of cases across Russia climbed by an average of 30% in recent weeks and people aged between 30 to 40 have been particularly affected. Since December, only 19 million out of a national population of 146 million have received at least one dose of a vaccine. Our correspondent Daria Bondarchuk is joining us from Moscow. Hi Daria, tell us more about the reason uh, why we are seeing such a significant uh, surge in COVID-19 infections and uh, what explains the sluggish pace at which the vaccination drive has carried on for now. Well, the Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Palskov uh, co commenting today on the recent spike in numbers blamed a low vaccination rates combined with a uh, sort of denialism of the public uh, resistance towards vaccine as well as the uh, new super contagious strains of the virus that are uh, as scientists believe are circulating at least in the Russian capital where we've seen in, indeed uh, an increase a number of over 90 of over 9,000 cases registered today it's an absolute record so far throughout the pandemic for the Russian capital um, it was previously believed that uh, about six Sixty percent of the Russia, of the Moscow residents have encountered and uh, successfully battled the COVID-19, and it was expected um, that uh, by the end of the year, 20 percent of Moscow residents will uh, be vaccinated. But uh, at this point, we have seen uh, across Russia high numbers. Uh, of cases, uh, 17,262 uh, new cases uh, just today, and half of that registered in Moscow. As for the number of uh, deaths, we've seen the highest uh, day daily number of deaths since uh, mid March. And uh, while Russia's uh, uh, death toll statistics are a bit complicated and not quite in line with the uh, so Western Europe and the US and the WHO standards, uh, the scientists point to the digits uh, registering excessive deaths in Russia, and that has recently been um, revealed that there were about 475,000 uh, deaths, uh, COVID-related potentially of excessive deaths uh, registered in Russia since the beginning of the pandemic, quite a high number. At the same time, vaccination uh, rates uh, indeed are quite slow, uh, with only 11.7% of uh, population um, having received uh, both doses of the vaccine. Uh, the Kremlin has expressed uh, um, its uh, criticism of these low rates of vaccinations. And while uh, Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, had previously uh uh, so for encouraged Russians that uh, the country is uh, nearing uh, 
sort of a victory over COVID. And just early this uh, June, in the beginning of June, um, there was a major international business forum held in St. Petersburg. It was dubbed the first post-COVID international business forum in the world with over 5,000 of attendants. Uh, of course, street uh, anti-coronavirus measures there. Uh, and uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, using that platform, um, has uh, said that uh, it seems that the world is getting back to normal. And now we see these developments in uh, Russia and the Russian authorities are stepping up uh, measures and restrictions to uh, slow down the spread of coronavirus in the country. Daria Bondarchuk, thanks very much for getting us up to speed with the latest uh, on ground in Moscow. Moving on for now, health services in the United Kingdom are all set to open COVID-19 vaccination for...